Once you get the car up in the air, we need to get access to the drive shaft carrier here. So you probably need to lower your exhaust a little bit um, or move it out of the way. You can, can do it without actually lowering it. It's just a little bit of a pain. Um, and then you're going to need to remove the heat shielding if there's any heat shields left on your car. And that'll get us access so we can cut the old carrier off. We're going to make two cuts, one on this side, one on that side. That's going to allow us to drop the drive shaft out of the OEM carrier. These two spacers that sit on top of it, throw these away, we're not going to reuse them. Come in here with the razor blade and cut all the way around. Now we're just going to clean up this center rib here. Um, we're going to leave a little bit of it left at the end. You don't need to take it all the way down, just get most of it. The bushings that are clamping down around this with the new carrier, the inner diameter of those is 59 millimeters, and this base layer of rubber is 61 millimeters. So that's where we want to get to. Um, this out here is 67, so it's going to put a lot of extra clamping force onto it, um, which could result in some excess uh, vibrations. Um, basically doesn't allow my carrier to dampen the drive shaft as well as it should. Now we're going to clamp the new carrier on, text going forward. Get this nice and centered, fore aft. Just work your way back and forth, left to right. bolt it up we're going to add these isolation dampers so what you're going to do is you're going to take a bolt add the big fender washer to it add one of the dampers that's going to go up through the carrier and then we're going to take the other damper go down the other way sandwich that all together take a small washer put it on top and then push this up. The same thing, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper up through the carrier, isolation damper from the top, small washer. So solid. Definitely.